Hello there and welcome to this channel. Recently I've been uploading some camera related tutorials and this will be the final one. We'll be working on a reusable drag component which we'll use to drag cameras, items with very little modification. Enough talk and let's head on to the video. Add a node object and attach a script to it. Then we declare two signals, drag started, which passes an argument and drag ended. Next, we create a function to detect if the object is being held down. This function receives an input event parameter. We check if the event is of an input event mouse button and also if it is the mouse button left key. We check if the event is pressed and emit the drag started signal and pass the event position as an argument. Then if it is not pressed, we emit the drag ended signal. Now you could make use of an else statement, but you only want to emit the drag edit signal if the event isn't pressed. Both ways are fine in this code. Add a node to the object so in using then a camera to the as a child. In our camera script we have a function which we will implement. Start by adding a drag component as a child of your camera. Then connect the two dual component signals to the camera script. Next, we declare two variables, dual component as a draggable and drag position. In your ready function, set the process to false. Then in our input function, we call the object held down in our drag component and pass the event as an argument. In our drag status function, we assign the event position parameter to the drag position variable and set the process function to true. In your camera drag end function, set process to false. In our process function, we declare a drag delta variable. Then we subtract the drag position from the mouse global position. We then increment the camera offset from the drag delta divided by the camera zoom and assign the drag position to the global mouse position. Now I'm going to use our Google icon to test our scene. Also, don't forget to set process of camera drag started to true. Okay, now we have our draggable camera working perfectly. Now let's head back and we use our drag component to create a draggable item. Add an area 2D to a new scene, then a sprite and a collision shape as a child. We have few written functions in this script. Add your drag component as a child of the draggable item and connect your respective signals. Then connect the area to the input signal. Next, we declare an already drag component as draggable and set process to false in the ready function. Then, in your input function, call the drag component object held down function and pass the event as an argument. Next, we set process to true if drag started and false if it's ended. For your process, assign the global mouse position to the nose position. Our draggable item work as expected. Now, as you see, when we start dragging, the object just snap to the center of the mouse. If there's an intended effect, you can go with this code. Now I'm going to declare a variable to stand as an offset. We then subtract the event position from the global mouse position. Then your process just subtract it from the global mouse position. Great, now our draggable item works fine. Now let's say you want to confine your object to a grid. To do that, declare a variable snap. Set its value to 100. We convert our code in the process into a variable, then assign the position to a vector tool. We make use of the snapped and pass the new position coordinates and snapped as an argument. Now, if we run this, we see that our icon moves every 100 steps. 
and if I were to change the value, we see it moves every 200 steps. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. If you really enjoyed this, please consider dropping a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in our next one.